Howdy folks, Moose here. Had a bunch of people ask about how I deal with noise after I posted this photograph and talked about being a little concerned about noise issues. So the, let's understand that what I'm doing here is uh, I'm in a plane photographing two other planes. My client is in the plane closest in that beautiful Super Corsair and there was three things he wanted in the frame. He wanted the Super Corsair, number 74. He wanted Cripes Almighty, and he wanted these mountains. That was essential. Now, we're going for the last kiss of light, little golden beam, desert glow, but basic area of photography, the clock ran out on us. But we're in the air, so we're going to still try to make something happen. So for that reason, I went over and I cranked up the camera to 1600 ISO. I went up to 1600 ISO. 1600 ISO because I needed that 1 80th of a second because I'm in shutter speed priority to get the prop blur. Now how dark was it? It was so dark you look at this photograph here you can see all the lights are coming on down here in Mesa, Arizona. There's actually no sunlight hitting these planes. Okay, This is just whatever glow there is out on the horizon. Now how do I deal with noise? First of all I'm shooting with a D3S and it's 1600 I've never really had to think about noise much. I, and first of all, keep in mind that I'm always shooting in the basement. So with the D3X, I'm shooting at 100. The D3S, I'm shooting at 200. I want the maximum quality. And always shooting in the basement, I just never have to worry about noise. Now, you've probably seen some other presentations when I've talked about converting to black and white, and I knew I might be making my own noise problems by the way I processed. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about noise inherent from the CCD. Now. How do I deal with noise? I'm using ACR, okay, 6 point whatever, 6.12345, whatever is the current one right now, I don't know. Sorry about that. And I'm running on my, my Dell, it's running 64-bit Windows 7 and 64-bit Photoshop. So technically I'm in Photoshop and I just clicked on the NEF file to open it. Now, I'm going to do my basic kind of processing and I'm going to go over it in case you aren't familiar with it, but most of the time I would just come over here and I click on my presets and my presets would do everything for me. But in this case, just so you can see what I'm doing, first thing I'm going to do is I have to, because uh, Adobe and Nikon don't want to talk about this and get along, I have to sit there and select my own um, profile. So Vivid, that's just the one I like. Then I'm going to come over. I bring up the vibrance a tad, I bring the clarity up a tad, okay, basic settings. Next I'm going to come over to my sharpening. My own personal defaults are 65 and 5. That's just the numbers that I like. Now here's where I'm going to talk about the noise. And we could zoom in. I haven't actually looked at this. I'm not sure what kind of noise I've got here. Um, I mean to me, 1600 ISO, the noise is pretty darn clean. Alright, just point blank. What if we zoom in some more? I bet we can if we zoom in enough we can find some. Well, you can see some in there, okay? Well, I found that the noise reduction in ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, really just rocks. It just simply rocks. So I'm going to bring up my luminance. I don't usually go a whole lot more past 25. Contrast, you know, it's just look at the color. Hit the preview button. See, it's cleaning it up pretty darn nice. I mean, there's not a whole lot in there. You look in the canopy, a little bit in the sky, you can see a little bit, what little bit's there is gone. So it's pretty simplistic and it's just that easy. Um, can you crank this up more? Oh yeah, you can crank this up more. Does it do a better job? You know, I'm not sure more is always better. I mean, I just cranked up a little bit there. Not seeing a radical change, okay? But it's done on, most important thing, a raw file. So I'm not doing this on a TIFF or PSD or JPEG, I'm doing it on a raw file. So the program has the greatest amount of information to start with and then has the most to work with to give me the best possible results. Next I'm going to come down to what I think is a really important tab. That's the HSL grayscale, the luminance tab. The default is hue. I like the luminance because what I can do with that sky, let's say that blue, okay, I'm going to bring out a little bit of that blue from the the desert in there and you can see that process there does start to bring out a little bit more noise take my little bit of glow there from the desert bring it down and I'm going to do the purples and magentas too and then I'm always going to hit the pre preview see the before and after just that quick and simple 
just like that. Once I've done that, I'm simply go open the object. And it's gonna be important that uh, I do open it up as a smart object. I, I think that's important. It gives me ability to do a number of things. And once I'm in here, okay, I can look at this. And, you know, yeah, there's a little bit of noise in there, but it's a big, big uh, magnification here. You know, I'm at 310%. I can print that, no problem. And that's basically how I deal with noise uh, in this scenario. Hope that is helpful to you.